This custom keyboard is not what you think. What if I told you that all the switches in this keyboard actually come from gaming mice? Yes, you heard me right, gaming mice. On its surface, it may look unassuming, but deep down inside, there is a massive amount of modding that makes this keyboard the most cursed custom keyboard ever built. This is an ordinary gaming mouse, and this is a custom keyboard. Throughout all of human history, mice have been designed to do one thing, and that is click a lot, and keyboards for typing. Well, uh, most of the time. So that got me hmm. thinking, hey, why can't we combine the best of both of these worlds and create the ultimate custom keyboard that will have the clickiness of a mouse and the typiness of a keyboard? Is this cursed? You bet! Will I be doomed to eternal hell by the keyboard gods for doing this? Yeah, probably. Am I still gonna do it? Yes, of course! And maybe you should uh, consider subscribing because we're almost at 100k subs. What's up guys, I'm Helix and I kind of mod things. My most popular keyboard video was where I made this keyboard click 102 times in a second. No. So that's cool. Here's the deal. I have a lot of gaming mice, like way more than anyone would ever need. Anyhow, inside of each and every one of these gaming mice is two of these small little clicky mouse switches. Problem is, how am I possibly gonna fit these switches inside of a keyboard? Look, let's at least be a bit scientific about this and take a look at the anatomy of both of these switches. So right here, we got the modern keyboard switch. All of them are square in shape. They can come in all different colors and types. Some of them good, and some of them questionable to say the least. It's all about preference, of course. But if you don't like them, or if they break, you can easily replace them. Mouse switches, on the other hand, they're built like Among Us characters. Pretty much all of them come from the same company. There's very little preference and choice. <laughs> And if they break, have fun doing brain surgery on your mouse trying to replace them. In conclusion, these switches are nothing alike and should never be mixed together. But what if we do? The perfect custom keyboard for this mod will be the Keychron K12. This is a fully wireless hot swap mechanical keyboard that only has around 61 switches. Right off the bat, after taking apart the keyboard and looking at everything inside, I started noticing some things. Pretty much every single keyboard switch in existence has this weird little indent thingy. Ever wonder why they have that? Well, it actually serves a very simple purpose. Whenever you press a switch down, the plunger portion of the switch actually extends beyond the switch itself to give you that extra post travel. Taking all this into mind, here is the 10,000 IQ idea. What if we use both switches? What? Yes, that's right. If we remove that protective bump by sliding a mouse switch directly beneath the keyboard switch, we can use the keyboard switch to activate the mouse switch. In essence, the deactivated keyboard switch above will stab the mouse switch below, clicking it and allowing you to type. This of course is easier said than done, as we will soon find out. I'ma really have to upgrade these stock switches if I'm really serious about making the best custom keyboard possible. A quick Google search later would lead me to believe that the Cherry MX Browns are one of the best keyboard switches out there, and so I went with them. These have to be some of the most aesthetic and best feeling switches out there, so that's why I'll be supporting Cherry MX Browns. Yo, chill, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. I'll actually be replacing the stock switches with Gatoron Black Inks. They're some of the best smooth linear keyboard switches out there and are pretty much the gold standard. I'm sorry I have to break the news to you, but uh, all of these perfectly good switches will be killed. Inside the keyboard is of course the PCB, which is the brains of the keyboard and every switch connects to it. Notice all of the holes in the PCB? Yes, that's where we have to align each and every mouse switch. But all of these annoying plastic bumps actually get in the way of the switches. <sighs> so I had to painstakingly remove each and every one of these things. This is a reenactment of what that may look like. Except that I had to do that 61 times, which took me about 5 hours to finish. And believe it or not, this is not even the worst part. A couple days back, I was just minding my business, and I happened to find a clear sheet of plastic in my attic. So my original plan for this mod was to cut that plastic in the shape of the keyboard, line everything up, drill some holes, maybe accidentally drill through the battery, and mount each and every switch to that plastic. And since I'm telling you this right now, 
you can probably figure out that it did not work at all. Nothing lined up. It was a total nightmare and a waste of time. Then my smooth brain realized, oh wow, hot glue exists. <laughs> Oh, I could have just done that this whole time and not at all lose my sanity drilling hundreds of holes with all the switches glued on, making sure that they line up with every hole. Here comes the most painstaking and difficult process of this entire mod. I can't just have all these mouse switches sitting here glued to the board. I actually have to connect them to the board for them to work. And this is why I love editing. Three, two, one. That right there was eight solid hours of soldering right before your eyes. Unfortunately, the keyboard switches alone don't press down far enough to click the mouse switches below. That's why we have this cool little hole puncher, which can mass produce hundreds of little spaces that can fit perfectly between the two switches. With all the spaces in place, we move on to the inevitable. I'm sorry for this part of the video, but 61 Gatoron Blacks had to be modded and consequently destroyed for this mod to work. May they forever be remembered. One of the things I really love about this mod that makes it the most cursed in my opinion is the fact that on the surface, even when you take off the keycaps, this just looks like any ordinary keyboard. But deep down inside, past the keycaps, past the keyboard switches, and heck, past the circuit board, is a vast array of mouse switches. I think we are finally ready to test out this keyboard, see what it sounds like, and even see how fast it can click. For the moment of truth that you've all been waiting for, let's hear what this keyboard sounds like. I am deeply sorry for that meme. Now, nah, but seriously, here's what it actually sounds like. Compared to a gaming mouse, now back to keyboard, now back to mouse, back to keyboard, to mouse, to keyboard, to mouse. And heck, a gaming mouse typing on the keyboard. Maybe you should, uh, what's the word again? Yeah, consider subscribing. It's completely free, so why not help out the channel? Before we test how fast this keyboard can click, spoilers, pretty fast, let's have some of my friends react to this keyboard and see what they think. Hold up, that does not sound like a keyboard switch. What is that? What is that? Dude, that is so satisfying. When you jitter click, it literally sounds the same as if you were jitter clicking on the mouse, bro. It's jitter clicking with the keyboard. I want this. Dude, Helix, nice job. That is actually really sick. <laughs> it is super cursed, bro. Helix, you're a genius, dude. You've done it again. That is so sick, dude. Bro, this is 10,000 IQ, bro. Holy crap. What? To say the least, I think I surprised them pretty good. Show them some love, all the channels will be in the description below. Unfortunately, keyboards aren't designed for people to type at light speed, because that's not usually humanly possible. So to measure the click speed of this keyboard as accurately as possible, I can hotwire this mouse right here to the spacebar switch, therefore bypassing the keyboard entirely. By jitter clicking, I average around 14 CPS. That's pretty cool, but kinda lame. Yeah. Let's take it up a notch. By applying some electric tape to the spacebar, I can increase the surface friction of the spacebar, which will allow me to drag click. After a bunch of tries and some failures, I was able to do this. 68 clicks in one second. But wait, there's more. The final clicking method is kind of illegal in a sense. By simply using an electric toothbrush, I was able to do this. Oh, 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 oh my God. 169 CPS. What a perfect way to end off this mod. Looking back on the goal I made in the beginning of the video to make the clickiest, typiest keyboard in existence, I think I did a pretty good job of that. Maybe in part two of this video, I'll actually make this keyboard into a fully working mouse. Heck, I just have this 3D printer sitting right here waiting to be opened. On that note, I guess we'll have to find out.